Okay, I'm going to show uh, everybody how to test a fuse. Um, so you're going to need your fuse to test, and you're also going to need a multimeter. Um, and it's always a good idea to test your fuses with a multimeter, because a lot of times a fuse won't look burned out. It'll look good, but it'll be burned out you know, under the end here, the end cap, where you can't see it. So um, it might look good, but it might not be good. So if the scooter's not working, you definitely want to test it uh, with a meter. So um, you're going to take your multimeter, and you're going to put it to ohms, because ohms um, is how you uh, test continuity on a multimeter. So go ahead. I like to set it to 200K ohms. And the I on the multimeter stands for infinity, um, which means infinite resistance. There's no resistance at all. When you touch the two multimeter leads together, you're going to get zero, which means zero re uh, resistance, uh, which basically means there's no resistance. Electricity is flowing through um, without any resistance at all. So. Um, it's pretty simple. You just take your fuse, hold your multimeter lead to one end, and the other multimeter lead to the other end. And you can see we have zero resistance on this fuse, so that indicates that it's a good fuse. Um, if you did this test and you got I for infinite resistance, then the fuse would be bad. Uh, it would be a blown fuse. And that's how you're going to test a glass fuse. Um, here's a blade fuse, pretty much the same thing. Multimeter to one post, the other multimeter lead to the other post. You can see we have zero resistance on this fuse, so it's a good fuse. And again, if it showed infinite resistance, then the fuse would be blown. So that's it. That's how to test um, electric scooter fuses.